Here I'm going to show you how to save a model which you've trained and to load one back in after you've already saved it. So right here I've got a data set and a data loader and a model which I'm then training in a training loop like this. So if I run this code you'll see the loss being printed and everything works fine. But now the program's ended and I've lost the file. I've lost all the parameters which I trained. So I need to actually then save the model. So the way to do that in Python is, in PyTorch, sorry, is to, firstly, you wanna get the models, what's called the state dict. So the state dict is literally just a dictionary which maps each of the different model parameters. It might be the weights of the first linear layer and the bias of the second convolutional layer and so on, all those different parameters it maps their name to their actual tensor value, the value of the weights or the biases or the parameters in general. So that's what this thing returns us. It returns literally a dictionary with those names of the layers and the, and the actual values. So let's actually print that. Here we can take a look. So I'm just using a linear regression model, so it shouldn't have too many parameters. But you can see this is the state dictionary. So it's an ordered dictionary, and the first thing it's got in it is linear layer dot weight. Well, that's equal to this tensor. And then it's got second thing, linear layer dot bias, and that's this tensor. So you can see it's there, it's got tuple of the name and the value. And for any model, which is inherited from torture and dot module, again, another thing, nice thing torture and dot module provides is this state dict. Any, any any model which inherits from that is gonna have this method which you can get these the values of all of those parameters from. And so using that, we can just save it. And the best way to save it, the recommended way to save it is using torch.save. That takes in what you wanna save and then the path you wanna save it to. So I'm just gonna save it as model.pt. PT is the typical extension for PyTorch weights. And so if I run that, we should then see inside model.pt, We've got all this thing, that's uh, the, the, the pickled version of that state dictionary, but it's saved there. So just ls it, yeah, it's there. There's the model.pt, which we just saved. So now that you've got that saved, the next thing you might wanna do is, let's say we've opened up a different file or just the same program later, and we wanna load back in that model, whether it's for prediction or for restarting training at a particular point or running some experiment, which picks up from somewhere which, uh, which you've left off. You want to load it back in and the way that you can do that is we can of course do torch.load torch.load and that's going to load in whatever file you want so i'm going to say model.pt that's got all my model parameters in and that's basically going to be the state dict and once i've got that i can get a new model Again, I'll use the linear regression because that's the architecture which is going to understand this state dictionary because it's got those layers. And then I can do new model dot load state dict. And then I just pass in the state dict. And then just to prove that it's working or at least it's doing the forward pass, I'll just run train on that new model. And then this should run with no issues. And we should see that that has correctly worked to save the model, load it in, and then we'll load in the state dictionary into memory, and then load that actually into the model. So these two things, saving the model and loading the model, probably pretty important as you, especially as you begin to train bigger, bigger models, which take longer to train, you don't want to lose those parameters. So make sure you can load and save them when you need.